Brother Solarius. Okay. Oh, that objective is to tell me to go to bed. Ah, oh, bollocks. No. I refuse. Uh, in the cloister, get to know the others. Oh, really? It doesn't point me to where they are. That blows. That's not a sleeping person. Right, so... Where could they be? Not in there. Oh wait, is that a door too? Nope. So it's mostly just going to be looking around for novices. Is it actually that late? It's 9pm, so... No, no, Peter has a strong constitution. He'll still be on this earth for many there years. There we go. Someone's been creeping around in the corridor at night. Oh, I say creeping. He was stomping about like a bear. That must have been Brother Sir Cato. He can't sleep and prays long into the night. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Now, are you here of your own free will or is this a punishment? Although, it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. <laughs> you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Okay. Okay. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Okay. Ooh. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka of Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, the lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. Mm okay. You needn't have come here if you didn't want, yeah. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg arms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive? Hmm. They must have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. Oh. All right. What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver Peace and run off brother. somewhere far, far away from here. Hmm. All right, that's everything. That's all I wanted to know. Please keep it to yourself, especially the part about the coin. Okay. Uh. How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's too awake at that time of the morning. Alright. I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Oh yeah, Antonius. Tell me about Antonius. Oh, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with of course the exception of myself, it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul, he's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. Okay. That's all. So there's that. That's Siskin. And still, it seems like only yesterday she went to the good lord. Aye. You're right there. Life is short. Lucas! Wait. Lucas! I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are... Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. 
Okay. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... There's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. It stunk like a wine barrel in there. And Come on. The first time. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Hmm. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. What can you tell me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a stickler for rules. Okay. Wait. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. No. Oh. Hang on, I didn't realise that was going to do that, but... Antonius! Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him, and I've never asked about him. Okay. Fine, well you were a lot of help. Let's go! So you're Yodok. Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Hmm, that's a good point. Can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As a younger son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate, but he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. Hmm. I'm interested in the other novices. What can you tell me about Siskin? Well, he's always got a smile and a new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. He spends more time dreaming of the world outside than tending to his duties. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. If it was up to me, he'd be out on his ear right away. Right. Sounds like you don't have much time for him. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Believe me, Gregor, he's hiding something from us. In fact, now I come to think of it, I haven't seen him at morning prayers for a while. Hmm. Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright, you can rely on him. He won't betray a confidence. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Okay. Lucas. I'm interested in Lucas. Nobody knows much about Lucas. He keeps himself to himself. If you ask me, he's got something to hide. I'd keep well clear of him if I was you. Do you have any grounds for suspecting him of something? Quite a lot. And also none at all. The circators who made the rounds despise him, and they'd never punish anyone without cause. Hmm. Okay. I can't actually speak to the random monks. I'd like to ask you. Hmm. I'm not actually interested in any of this, thanks. Antonius. Ah, oh, Gregor. Talk to me. Why does... How come he's the only one that has the option? I know that you're pious. I'll try it. 
I know you're pious. The man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over, but then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. I do agree. You've done wrong and I'm going to kill you. No. You're right. But the people who sent me will find out if I don't kill you. They won't if we're clever about it. No one has to die. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Uh... Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. Okay. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. Ooh. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. Okay. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. Okay. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies, get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. That's true. Alright, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. That would sound more sincere if you hadn't just tried to kill me. That's why I'm thanking you. For being so reasonable despite what I did. For what it's worth, I'm glad the poison didn't kill you. Huh? And we can both come through this alive if we work together. Oh, he would have tried to poison you if you took too long to figure out who he is. Oh. That's why he gave me an antidote and a merry-gold decoction. Brother, fuck. I'm trying to find Brother Solarius. Finishing what they don't. Did you have to finish someone's weeding in the garden again? Yet again. Monk. Watch your step, brother. God be with you. No, that's a psychiatrist. Monk. Monk. Why such haste? Creeping. He was stomping about like a bear. Actually, wait. That's Yodok. I'm in the wrong area. I don't know if running in the in the halls is a bad idea. In a rush to pray. Pay more attention. Watch your why such haste. Why such haste? Shut up. 
Small monks. Monk. God. Oh. Lucas. He's had a move. Wait. Ah, oh, I do need a lockpick to actually open it. Crap. <sighs> That's the brother librarian. I wonder. Oh, oh, there's the stash. What would you like? Uh. Is there anything I can do to help here? Slow I'm glad down. you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Okay. Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely! Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Right, okay. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Scattered pages. Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere. From the garden to the refectory. Okay. And that's it for everything. Thing is, I see that there's that, and that's the stash. Of worldly goods. So, is that a door? Oh, he's leaving. Oh no, there's the door. I want that guy to leave as well. Oh, wait, this is Siskin's stash. Okay. Oh, whatever. Oh, they do have lighting. There's another chest. The only downside is I wish I had a torch. Just because seeing in here is a bit of a pain. Yeah, unless I do. I don't have fucking anything. Everyday labors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Brother Solaris! Uh, Fuck. Never mind. Leave me be, I wanna sleep. Leave me be, oh, Watch your step, brother. Man, I wanted to get through. Whoa, what? Antonius? Son, why such haste? Why such haste? What are you doing, brother? Pay more. Can you stop Can you pushing me out of the fucking way of the door? Dickens. Aha! Mine now. Oh, wow. Ornamental dagger, Necronomicon 2, and 200 groschen. Damn right. We started worldly goods. Oh, we know, it, we know it's Siskins. So I just need to find Siskin. Lucas. Are you Siskin? Yodok. Are you Siskin? You're Antonius. Shit. Oh, we know who it belongs to. So we completed the quest. Da 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 da! Thing is, like, it's... Oh, I was gonna say, you do actually need to sleep, don't you? If you don't, then 
you can get in trouble. There's Siskin. He's just gone to sleep. Why are you Son of a bitch. So, Solarius is there. If I actually sleep in this bed, I can save. So, sure. Oh, I should have actually sat down so I could have read the everyday labours. Cancel! Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, just sit down first. I can't see a damn thing. Mm-hmm. There we go. Ah, lovely. <laughs> right, so there's two pages, but I can't read them. That's happened so many times. Hmm. Okay, am I able to read? No. Fuck's sake. Alright, try again. Wow, you really can't see a damn thing. I need a light from above. What if I'm like crouched and then I read? Nope. Whatever. Let's have a sleep. That's what I say, where's the bed? So we did worldly goods. That was actually a really, really easy quest. Worldly goods. Boom. So it's now 10 p.m. They get up at dawn, apparently. So seven hours is fine. Yeah, worldly goods is done. Um, there's actually a lot of quests in here. Like in the monastery, I mean. But I'm not entirely sure who I get them from. Oh, it's hilarious. Ah. Hmm. Oh my god. There's so much. Like, these side quests are actually pretty damn lengthy as well. Yeah, it's not just as easy as, you know, any other quest we've had. Not bad. What I might do, though, is go and speak with Solarius. Find out about lockpicks. So I think I'll only need to get a couple. Yeah, because the hardest chests are the very hard ones, and... Uh, not very hard. The hardest chests seem to be hard. You're neglecting your daily schedule, am I? I thought they said they get up at... Go to church and pray for... God, they get up really fucking early. Hold up. Actually, while I'm here, I'll just, uh, read this. First years in our monastery. 3 a.m. Oh. The day starts at 3. Holy crap. 3 a.m. Then 4 a.m. to the morning prayer. Common meal. Work in the frattery. Assigned by Brother Nevelis. 12 is noon, working library assigned. There, afternoon worship, vespers, common supper. Free time. You have two hours of free time before retiring. Actually, wait, can I speak with... Brother Nevelis. Monk, monk. Siskin. I cannot, where are they? Ah! Nevelis. Librarian. I get the feeling I can't speak with him. That's the prior. Yodok. Wait, where the heck? I must be missing someone. You're a cicada. I really do not see anyone. Wait, I'm trying to find... whatever the play is Ellie's called. Celerius, I think. Pay more attention, brother. 
Monk, monk. I like how I don't actually have to do anything. Brother Librarian, nevertheless. I like how I can speak with him. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't speak with him. Never mind. Fine. Oh, we're nearly done. I thought it was going to be like, they said before dawn. Which I think is 5am. I don't know who A is. I think it just means... I don't know, Antonis? Can't you see you're a mass? Well, I can, but I mean, I'd prefer to talk. We done? I mean, it looks like we are done. They've stopped singing. It's deadly silent. Oh my god. So it's go to church, prepare and mess, eat with the others, go work in the friary, and here find brother... whatever the fuck he's called, Solarius. Okay. Wait for an hour. Once it gets to 6am, I'll just stop. To be fair, actually, like, following the routine is not that bad. Seemingly. 3am is the start, and you've got two hours of prayer. Damn. I mean, I showed up at the end, but I couldn't read my book because it was dark. What the? Three grand? Are you kidding? There we go, finally. Brother Salarius. Where is the douche? Now, these are all the novices. In a rush to pray? No, I'm in a rush to find Salarius. I want to find out about picks. Monk, monk, novice. Why such haste? In a rush. Why such haste? Pay more attention, brother. <laughs> I'm the leader now. God, they take so long. Oh man. Holy edifying conversation. For it is written in much speaking oh, here we go. not escape sin. And in another place, death and life are in the power of the tongue. For speaking and teaching belong to the master. Salarius. The disciples' part is to be so. What would you listen. like? And for that reason, if anything has to be Pix. asked of the superior, I'm looking for something a little um, humility and unorthodox. And what would that be well, exactly? Coarse jests and idle words, or words that move lock picks. I'm looking for lock picks. Everywhere with a lock picks. And, for and what would you like those for? Permit a disciple to open his mouth. I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Of well, why not? Hey! So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Wait, so that's a basket. Wait, really? Oh wait, I have all the money. Ha! Huh. Oh. Check basket. <laughs> Don't think I'd be able to haggle him down. I could get ten of them. Yeah. So remove... I could actually get more than ten. 170. I could get eleven. There you go. Close the deal. There we go, we got it. Speaking and teaching belong to the master. The disciples' part is to be to listen. And for that reason, if anything has to be asked of the superior, it should be asked with all the humility and submission inspired by... Oh, we're actually eating. But as for coarse jests and idle words or words that move to laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual ban. And for such conversation, we do not permit a disciple to open his mouth. The rule of Saint Benedict, readings on the spirit of silence, for a second, I actually just wait through this and not actually have to do anything. I'm so glad you can just get through most of the day by waiting. Oh, your nourishment just goes straight up to 100. Okay. That's good. 
<laughs> I'll try and do at least one day's worth of stuff. Because that's known as the In the Cloister quest. And then once that's done, I can really just start neglecting it. I'm pretty sure you can talk your way out of most things anyway. I'm not entirely sure. I really don't remember. Oh, shut up. There it. Nevelis? Oh, there we are. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Nevelis, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Okay. Brother. Not great, really. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you? I am in here. I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Really? This time I'll look the other way. But next time you won't get out of being punished. I'm Gregor and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during ceremony. I have the feeling we'll be meeting again soon and often. You see, I'm the circator. What does that mean? I punish people. I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything's the way it should be. And um, when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to met out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? Ooh. Nah. Okay. What do you desire? Yeah, here for daily duties. Work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. I want you to prepare two marigold decoctions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Okay, I have one of them. Aha! Wait, where's the thing? Where's the bench? Hold up. Now that's the chest. Where is the bench? Is it in the next room? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Take everything. Nice. All right, so start alchemy. We just need to make one more marigold decoction, right? Read. No, it's actually finding the bloody thing. Do 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 do. Bard, I have too many potions. Cockerel. Save your schnapps. Marigold. Right, so what do I need to do? Water. Nettles. Two marigold. Drop the nettle in the water and cook for one turn. Leave to cool. Drop in the marigold, but don't boil it anymore. That's easy. Okay, so. Drop in nettle. I don't need to actually, like, grind anything up. Cool. So we just need water. Water. Okay. Crap. I'm trying to get it so it gets to a boiling state. Right there. Which is the nettle? Nettle! There. So now do that, then do this. That should be enough. Yeah, I'll do. And then do that, but don't boil anymore. So there. I think the heat might be just going away. Let's do one more pull. Up. Whoosh. Now take a file. And complete. I really hope that was right. Nettle and two marigold. You boil it with the nettle, you don't boil it with the marigold. Hey, I did it. Easy. Yeah, there you go. Dune. Dune. 
What do you desire, brother? Peace be with you, brother. There we are. I've finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be.